Kayo po ay nakadutok sa Season 91 ng NCAA. Handog sa inyo ng ABS-CBN Sports at sa lahat ng mga PLDT Home and Smart subscribers. Paalala lang po, you guys can enjoy entertainment everywhere with the country's biggest selection of videos on demand from iFlix. Ang kailangan nyo na gawin ay pumunta sa iFlix.com and start your complimentary 14-day trial today. Ang ating talaan at the half, 49 to 31, lamang ang five-time defending champion, San Beda College, kontra sa LPU. At Don Ross, kasama si Coach Olsen, Rosella, dumikit ang LPU sa ating first quarter, Coach Olsen. Kaya lang, sa second quarter, pumulusok itong Red Lions, outscoring the Pirates, 32 to 16. Well, again, it was that because of that small lineup by San Beda, where you had uh, Art De La Cruz, you have uh, JV Mokon, and three guards against the uh, a much bigger front line of LPU. At yun nga, namayana yung mga maliliit na players ni Coach Jamay, kaya lumamang itong San Beda. Silipin naman natin ngayon ang mga numero at ang pinakamabigat na stat dito para sa SBC ay yung 23 points off turnovers. Yes, if you compare the first and second quarters, first quarter medyo uh, hindi nagkakalayo, pero dun sa second quarter, 60% for San Beda, only 25% for LPU. And most of those... Uh, shots of San Beda coming from the inside. Again, points of turnovers because of the turnovers that uh, they generated. E easy layups nagtatanslay dito sa kabila for San Beda. Kaya naman, ito na ang pinakamalaki nilang kalabangan, 49 to 31. Nanguna para sa San Beda Red Lions at the half, itong si Arthur De La Cruz na meron ng labing dalawang puntos. Silipin natin ang kanyang shot chart. And most of his uh, points, of course, coming from the inside. Uh, wala pa masyado from the outside except for that uh, uh, corner um, jump shot ano, from most probably a floater from Art De La Cruz. But this is one thing na pwede pa niyang improve eh, his outside shooting. And I think if he develops a more consistent outside shot, eh, mas mahihirapan tayong bantayan ito si Art De La Cruz. 11 out of the 13 players na pinasok ni Coach Jamai Karin, nakapuntos na Baseramer with 7. At the half, Ola Adiogo na meron ng three personal fouls, including a technical foul, merong limang puntos. At ito naman ang mga top performers na LPU. Yes, si Baltasar with eight. Most of them coming in the second quarter. Gabayni with six. And Alanes with five. Si Gutjol, hindi pa natin nakikita dyan sa mga top scorers ng LPU. Wala pang field goal si Victor Gijol. 0 for 2. He has one point so far, which came obviously from the free throw line as we begin. The second half of play. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagtutok. At Don Ross kasama si Coach Olsen Rosella as we see this layup by Dan Sara. Again, the story of the first half. Uh, turnover by LPU leading to an easy layup for uh, San Beda. Dan Sara, kumarangkada, pinasa kay Amer, pinasa sa kanto. Yusei Koga inside to Arthur De La Cruz. The ball movement of the Red Lions looking very fluid sa simula ng ating quarter, Coach Olsen. Oh, at, at nagsimula yun sa second quarter, sinabi natin na nung medyo bumilis na yung pace. Of course, uh, ang advantage dun, ang San Beda pag bumibilis ang pace. Samantala, Joseph Gabayni nakapunto sa ilalim. Eight points for the big man. Koga. Bounce pass to De La Cruz. Bitin, babalik ang bola sa panic ng Pirates. Now let's take a look at this fast play of the game. This was Dan Sara Steel a while ago. It's brought to you by PLDD Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Ito si Philip Emerald, the tweet. Go LPU neighbor, beat those lions out of the den. Hashtag Galing LPU. Again, I'd like to remind every LPU supporter, you guys are number 10. Dead last pagdating sa bilang ng mga tweets na hashtag LPU. So it's time to catch up. Ito naman SBC number 7. So, Brian Bakuyag, meron siyang uh, sinama pa si Siege today sa kanyang tweet. High school batch 2000 and 2001. You guys can check out the numbers of the mentions, the number of mentions at uh, the website sports.abs-cbn.com. 
Victor Gejo, let's see if he will get himself going. And this is the potential that we see from a guy this long and that athletic. And they should do more of that. Ano, ngayon na si uh, Ola Diogo not starting dito sa third quarter because of uh, fall trouble. Eh, dapat uh, pag-aalan itong LP yung laro. They should go inside to their strengths. Ito si Cabayni at si Gijol. Victor Gijol nakuha ang kanyang unang field goal. Pagkatapos maka-score sa layup na yun. Umatras si Gijol. Pinasa sa ilalim. Cabayni with a reverse layup. Sampung putos para kay Joseph Cabayni. And good high-low play. Yan ang nangyari doon. Ano? Assist coming from Gijol in the basket from Cabayni. Alos isang buwan na wala sa basketball itong si Joseph Gabayni. He missed four straight games. I was talking to him a while ago. Sabi niya, na-miss niya talaga ang paglalaro. At itong si Joseph Gabayni going all the way. Like a train that got loose from its tracks. Nobody could stop him. And uh, for a big man, ano? Kayang-kaya mag-court to court dito si Gabayni. He's their best big man. A natural big man. Joseph Gabayni in the second playing year para sa LPU. Tumatakbo ang Pirates. Wilson Baltazar able to score off of a finish. Mini run for LPU at napapa nila itong kalamangan nila. Dose na lang itong hinahabol nila. Sinusubukan pantayan ng mga pirata ang energy ng mga Red Lions. Tangkwa with a hook. Tangkwa bitin. Rebound. Marata. Marata. Pinasa sa kanto. Ayaay. Inside pass. Joseph Gabayni. What a start for Joseph Gabayni. He's got eight points in the quarter. LPU is doing the right thing. Ano? Subukan nilang po fast break. Pag wala yung fast break, being very patient, hinihintay nila yung ganilang big men to finish. Amer, umatake. Baser Amer. Scoring on the inside off of a drive. Siyang naputos para kay Baser. Gijol, umatake. Gijol, umupo sa ere. Wala. Tapi ka ng bola. Kanino mapupunta? Victor Gijol. Agawan. Nakuha ni Gabayni. Gabayni! Another basket for Joseph Gabayni. Ten of his 16 points have been scored here in this quarter. Pero lamang pa rin ang San Beda. 55-55. 45. Ito po, season 91 ng NCAA. Ilabas ang galing. Balikan natin itong huling sequence kung saan napulot ni Joseph Gabayni ang bola at nagpakawala ng isang strong move. Brought to you by PLDT Home PSL, the number one home broadband. Joseph Gabayni. Yun yung sinasabi natin, Anton. Ano? When you have Gabayni at the four and Gijol at the five spot, Napakatangkad at napakalaki itong front line ng LPU. At kailangan, yun nga, bagalan mo ang laro and you go to your strengths. Pero medyo hinihingal na itong si Joseph Gabayni pagkatapos ng huling sequence na yon. Pero kailangan talaga masanay itong si Joseph Gabayni. Kailangan niya masanay muli after missing almost a month of action sa NCAA Season 91. As we see the Sun Beta students... In this Copico 78 Best Recharged Moment, brought to you by Copico 78 Copico's Best Latte Ever. In and out on that shot by Arthur De La Cruz. Art De La Cruz, of course, uh, has the same name as his father. He's got two sisters, Mayel and Mary Chris. And I asked Art, because he has the same name as his dad, what do they call him? Sa bahay. They call him Boy. Boy. Nung nagpa-practice pa kami before, si his dad, Art De La Cruz, was my teammate yes. before in the pros. Sumasama na yun si Boy. Boy nga ang tawag namin dyan, <laughs> si Art De La Cruz. Maliit pa yan at uh, nakikilaro lang sa amin yan. Pero ngayon, uh, grabe na yung pinapakita niya. Uh, very, uh, an all-around player, smart player, high basketball IQ. And a very bright future for Boy de la Cruz. Balikan muna natin ngayon si Siege Tanteco. Siege? Yes, Anton. Kasama ko yun si Ira, isang IT student from San Beda and her favorite player in Autocorp. Pwede ako naman kami. Um, si Mr. Ryo Seikoga kasi down to earth siya mabait and madaling siya mag 3-point shoot. Malita ako crush mo nga siya eh. Oo. Um, ngayon mag-graduate na si Koga, anong mensahe mo sa kanya? Um, ang galing 
Sabi niya, no, Koga, um, nandito lang kami mga bedans para sumuporta sa'yo. Maraming salamat. Ayer, good luck, Koga. Back to you, Anton. Thank you very much, Siege. You say Koga is indeed the most reliable three-point shooter para sa ako ni Coach Jamaik Harin. He takes the most threes among all the players on the roster. He's a 36% three-point shooter this season. And uh, it's going to be difficult to find somebody who could replace the shooting of Yusei Koga once he graduates. He complements that big lineup where he has uh, three tall players in his front line. He complements that with shooters like Koga, with uh, shooters like uh, Baser Amer, Dan Sara, and of course Raj Tongko. 56 to 48 ang ating talaan. Joseph Gabayni. Joseph Gabayni scores again. This quarter belongs to Joseph Gabayni, Coach Olsen. And that, that dial doon, obviously, ano, bumaba na itong kalamangan ng uh, San Beda. Anim na lang itong hinahabol nila. Mainly because of uh, Joseph Gabayni. And his 12 points here in this quarter. Pasera Mer trying to respond. Bitin ang kanyang tres. Jeremiah Taladua pinasa kay Jomari Lacaste Santos. And Basera Mer was able to force Lacaste Santos to travel by standing in front of him. Balikan natin itong galaw ni Victor Gijol. Strong move of the game brought to you by PLDE Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Kapos yung tira ni Gijol. Walang problema. Napulot ni Joseph Gabayni who has been an absolute beast para sa LPU sa quarter na ito. 12 out of his 18 points na ipasok ni Gabayni. At may kasama pa siyang 11 rebounds. So, double-double na para kay Gabayni. Ito, counter naman ni Coach Jamay kay pinasok niya ito si Ola at Yogun. Because alam niya na itong LPU eh unti-unti nang humahabol. At pangalawa, eh, gusto niya ma-depensa ang itong offensive rebounding at itong, uh, itong offensive rebounding ni Gabayni. Ola Adiogun trying to remain calm despite getting knocked down to the floor. Okay, Mananatili ang bola spot. dito sa panic ng San Beda with 4 minutes and 5 seconds remaining. Here in the third, Amer, pinasa kay Mokon. Mokon to Amer who swings it to Koga. Pinasa sa loob. De La Cruz, double team. De La Cruz, dinabas kay Mokon at naubos ang oras ng San Beda. Coach Jamaik Harin looking on as his team is struggling to pull away. They were already up by 20 at one point. Pero etong uh, LPU nakabangon muli dahil kay Otep Gabayni. Pero yun ang solusyon sa opensa ni Otep Gabayni. All Adeogun on defense. Speaking of All Adeogun, he grabs a rebound and scores on the putback. When you have Ola Diogun doon, ano, pwede mong uh, pigilin itong uh, run ng LPU, not with a timeout, but just by putting in Ola Diogun. Drop pass by Victor Gijol to Gabayni, but Gabayni could not find space. 58 to 50. Salmeda gets this important field goal. Mula kay Baser Amer. This is a season high now for Baser Amer. Labit dalawang puntos para kay Amer. Double digits na naman ang kalamangan ng San Vera 61 to 50. Panorin natin itong master guapo move of the quarter mula kay Ola Adiogun. Watch out for more guapo moves powered by master. Sikreto ng mga guapo. Now before we went into the break, Basera Mer scored on a triple, his second triple of the game at etra ang season high ni Basera Mer. It's been an injury plagued season for Basera. This is only his fifth game sa season 91, Coach Olsen. Yes, yeah, slowly going back to his uh, old form. Ito si Baser Amer. Mahirap nga na yung shoulder injury 
Good na sinabi natin kanina. Right shoulder pa, his shooting uh, arm. At, uh, at slowly, again, going back to his old form, ito si Basera Met. And uh, nagkaroon siya ng very uh, popular visitor sa kanilang huling laro. Jimmy Alapag actually came to watch uh, San Beda's game against Perpetual. At uh, tweet ni Siege ang kanyang picture kasama si Jimmy Alapag saying that uh, Jimmy mentioned that he sees Amer and Scotty Thompson as the next Jimmy Alapag. Ma ma mabigat yun, ano? para sabihin ni Jimmy na parang papalit sa kanya yung dalawang yun. But we were talking about mentorship kanina. Yes. We, ha we have uh, itong si... Uh, ito, nakita nyo. Yung tweet ni uh, Siege kanina. Last week's on Bed the Game. Uh, Jimmy Alapag there. Ganito mga nanunood sa NCAA Season 91. <laughs> But you know, talking about mentorship. May nabi natin kanina about uh, Baser Amer being a mentor to... Uh, Uh, Raj Tonko and then Art De La Cruz being a mentor naman to JV Mokon. Now, when you have Jimmy Alapag naman ang nagme-mentor dito kay Baser Amer at Scotty Thompson, alam mo, secure na. Alam mo, secure na ang future ng Philippine basketball. Now, while we were discussing Baser Amer and Jimmy Alapag, this happened. Shaq Alanes going up to challenge a shot may naapakan itong si Shaq Alanes. Hopefully we could get an update. Siege is already there at the scene. Pero rin reklamo naman dito ni uh, si Shito, si Shaq Alanes. Kita natin after that uh, sprain, getting treatment dun, dun sa kanyang uh, left ankle. Ice Reyes, pinasa sa loob. Raj Tonko! Drops the long bomb. Raj Tonko, seven points in the game. Again, there, that's an inside-outside game ng San Beda. Going to the post first and kicking it out dun sa mga open shooters nila. San Beda with a 9 to nothing run. Tonko again. Sumobra naman. Wilson Baltazar. Pinasa kay Edgar Marata. LP was already able to come to within five before Basera Mer scored on that triple. And finally, Gabayni stops the run. Meron ng 20 puntos si Joseph Gabayni dito sa laban na to. 20 puntos at nabing dalawang rebounds. At tama ka, medyo napapagod na to si uh, Gabayni. Dahil siya lang talaga ang uh, umupok-pok dito sa third quarter para sa LPU. Sinabi na sa akin, bago ang laban na ito, na-miss niya ang paglalaro. Kaya naman sinusulit niya itong moment na ito. Speaking of moments, here's the Copico 78 Best Recharge Moment. Brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's Best Latte Ever. Victor Gijol trying to be a calming presence sa kanya mga kakampi. Just like Wilson Baltazar, Jeremer Cabana slicing through the lane. Ola Diogon grabs the miss. And we'll head to the line for two. The no one uh, boxing out to si Ola Adyogun without Gijol inside. Eh, at si Gabayni na nakaupo rin. Eh, medyo maliit itong lineup ni Coach Topex Robinson. Kaya madali nga makakuha ng offensive rebound itong San Beda. Lalo na ito si Ola Adyogun. First free throw. Mintes para kay Ola Adeogun. Adeogun, of course, the third generation of foreign big men sa San Beda side. Following Sam Ekwe and Sudan Daniel. At ang susunod kay Ola, si Donald Tangkwana. Inside pass. Napunta sa mga white shirt. Reyes throws it away. Malabanan able to come up with a steal. Marata. Pinasa sa kanto. Wilson Baltazar. Giambida with a rebound. Eight on the shot clock para sa LPU. Baltazar na naman. 
That time, Baltazar Kumonekta mula sa labas. Yes, maganda yung naging recognition ni Bulawan doon. Trying to hit si Embida sa ilalang pero nag-collapse yung depensa at nakita niya libre sa kanto si Baltazar. Labing-anim na puntos para kay Wilson Baltazar dito sa laban na to. His season high is 19. Ola Adiyogun, one of the toughest guys to box out dito sa NCAA. Grabs another rebound and scores on a putback. Madali sabihin, ano, box out niyo, box out niyo, pero napakalaki nito si Ola Adiyogun. Eh, wala nga nakaka-match up sa kanila de, sa loob. Ngayon. Oh, Edgar Marata at the buzzer. Will that be a spark para sa LPU? Tandaan po natin, LPU biglang bumulusok sa panguna ni Joseph Gabayni dito sa third quarter. They were able to cut the Sun Meta lead to five before Sun Meta went on a nine to nothing run. Counted. Ang buzzer beating triple ni Edgar Marata kaya naman back to single digits ang lamang ng Red Lions. Isang quarter na lang po ang nalalabi dito sa second round matchup sa pagitan ng San Beda at LPU. Fourth quarter sa aming pagbabalik. Huwag po kayong aalis. Ito po ang Season 91 ng NCAA Ilabas. Ang galing.